I'm here today to join um, several of my young men that I work with uh, to kick off our annual Hugs Not Bullets campaign. This campaign is co it's dedicated to uh, those who want to make sure that we are in a community that's safe and free from gunfire and gun violence in general. Uh, the Youth Initiatives Project has been around since 1999. It's a youth-driven program. What's most important is that these youth are trained to be uh, advocates for their peers and strong warriors for their community. They look forward to kick their, their annual kickoff for the Hugs Not Bullets campaign because of what it represents. It represents their opportunity to contribute in a larger way to the region. Uh, the Hugs Not Bullets campaign is basically uh, put together by the youth themselves to ultimately bring about a sense of hope that gun violence can end. My community message is put the guns down, especially on New Year's. Why would you um, start a new year with gunfire? Um, you step up. We need our peers to really, really step up. Right now I ask that everyone, young, old, suburbanite, city dwellers, whoever, we must take action now because this violence cannot continue to go on in our city. And I will not tolerate the youth violence, the celebratory gun violence going on in our streets on New Year's Eve also. So let's stand together. It will be changed in our city. It will be changed. We all must continue to support each other no matter what the odds may seem like, no matter what others may say. We must continue to do our part in ensuring we protect our community and protect our youth. We must end celebratory gunfire, we must end gun violence in general, and we have to work together as a community to do that. So the Neighborhood Service Organization uh, is committed to that effort, and we're very happy to support these young men and women.